channel guys this is Melly Boost TV and we have a special guest with us today okay introduce yourself Hi, my name is Tix um, I'm from the best country in the world Nigeria <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm a registered nurse um, a psychiatric nurse for the past 16 years um, before coming to the United States about uh, roughly three years ago yeah. so guys we're gonna be speaking about international nurses journey to the US okay so when you first heard about coming to the US like what are some agencies that you came across and what agency did you actually use coming to the US um, um right when i just uh graduated um it has been on, on my mind to to travel outside the country to practice so i started um sourcing for information on how to go about it you know the issue is that i i it didn't just click once i met some bad agencies i fell into bad hands and um they swindled your money they promised you heaven and air at, 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 at the end of the day they are nowhere to be found. So before um, I've heard about uh, events on Facebook. So it was just an advertisement that I saw on Facebook and I asked the question and it was replied. And that was how I just said, okay, let me try my luck. After all, I've been applying here and there uh, without success. And, and I applied with Avant Healthcare Professionals. And um, that was where my journey started. Okay. So what is the first step in the process with avant well i know it's like two years later but yeah. we're guys we're gonna try as much as possible to give yeah. you the right information to, to remember because yeah. yeah. it's been a while yeah it is so um i think the first uh process was that i filled an application online and after that they will send you an examination that is like um uh, NCLEX standard um, examination just to test your ability and after that they'll send an, another exam which is an English exam just like uh, IELT but it's, it's way cheaper it's just elementary English that anybody should know you know so after the two exams um, they will give you a reply whether you passed or not it was after that that um, they will send you a, an email that you've been chosen um and send you what next to to go to follow you know um after that first initial stage the next stage is going to be uh the documentation stage when they're going to request a whole lot of paperwork from you you know you're going to send your transcript from your school you're going to send um uh letter employment um proof to show that you're employed um, at times they ask you for your pay stop to actually show that you're working because they want somebody that is actively working. You know, there are some nurses, they're actually nurses, but they're at home, not working. Maybe they're taking care of their children. Maybe they're doing something else by the side, not act actively working as a nurse. So, but they want somebody to work. So after that, then, they will now send you a link where you upload all those documents, your verification from your school of nursing, um, your certificates, uh, your license from your home country, and I think just the general paperwork that's, that you supply, that's the next stage. So um, after that stage, then they will now go to the stage where you're going to register for CGFNS evaluation um, because CGF, CGFNS have to evaluate your certificates to make sure that it's at, at par with what is obtainable here in the US so um, but Avant will pay for this for the evaluation so they pay for the evaluation and you send your documentations and at uh, times it takes a long time so you did all your documentation and then I think they sent some books. Yeah, the, um, at a stage they will send you the, the books that you study with. Um, for clarification, CGFNS means a certificate for foreign graduate nurses. So they are like um, 
uh, an umbrella body that uh, evaluates foreign certificates uh, for Board of Nursing. They are not only CJFNS, but one thing, one advantage about CJFNS is that you will need what they call visa screen. Mm -hmm. So and it, I think it's only yeah. CJFNS that gives visa screen. Mm -hmm. So using CJFNS for your certification is better because you already have your documents there. There are other, um, um, well, I say companies or uh, that you can use, but after they do, do the certification, you still have to go back to CJFNS for the visa screen. Yeah. You know, so um, after the documentation, like she said, you go to, they will send you some books um, and then you have your schedule online to study. And they'll be monitoring you, they'll be following you up. Um, you'll be doing some exams as you progress to test um, how uh, the progress you're making, you know. Um, it's not easy to be, to be factual. It is something that you really have to sit down and tell myself, yes, I want to do. You know, uh, a lot of people want to travel abroad to practice in America, but they want it the easy way. No, you have to be ready. You have to sacrifice time. You have to sacrifice your sleep at times. Your friends, you have to keep them by the side, except they are the friends that you study together with, because you just really have to work hard to make sure that all your effort is not uh, in vain, because at the end of the day, you actually smile, you know? So after these studies, um, they'll keep monitoring you. They keep monitoring as you progress. So you have, I think, three stages in studying. You now have the initial stage that they will give you the, um, you do what they call um, getting the background. And after that, they will now give you um, other online um, exams that you have to be taking to, to be, how to, to, to adapt with endless type of questions because endless type of questions are like in Nigeria is not the time kind of questions we we are used to you know um, our question is, is multiple choice but <laughs> it, it, it's hard when you have all the options correct as the answer so you're like which, which one what do they want from me <laughs> all the options here are all correct <laughs> you know so so it's it's usually you have to actually uh, prepare your mindset to think like them that's the only way you can actually uh as in pass this exam so it's um it will take you time and avant will be following you all the way every step of the, every way, step of the way you know they will follow you up every step of the way. They will be on, on they will be on you, you know? <laughs> right. And I think also, so when you have gotten your book and you have prepared and everything, then one, they send you an exam at the end. Yeah. They will send it's like a mock exam, mm -hmm. you know, a prototype of what um, NCLEX is like. You know, for you to test your, your ability, you know, know your areas of strength, and the area you need to brush up, you know, area you need to work more on, you know. So it's um, at times, like at times, at times, one thing about them, at times they, they will, they will there's, some, there's a word they use. We're gonna escalate it, especially <laughs> when, when, when you're lagging behind, you know, yeah. were, we're gonna escalate it to so, 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 you know, just to, it's not um, a thread, but it needs to, to put you on your toes, you know, because at times some people, after some time, you see yourself relaxing, you know. You just have to ginger you, you know. That's just that. <laughs> yes, guys. So you, they will prepare. Then when you do your MAC exam, then once you pass that, then it's time to do your NCLEX. Yeah. So um, did you have your US visa already? And where did you actually do your exam? Um, from Nigeria, I went to India to do my exams. And some other Nigerians went to Philippines you know so um getting u.s visa from nigeria is usually a herculean task you know so we, we i went to india and avant 
we will send you all the necessary documents for you to apply for visa to India or to Philippines. Um, but now, they most of them go to uh, Philippines. Okay. Most Nigerians don't longer go to India; they go to Philippines. So, Avant, we send you all the, the supporting documents. You now add your own necessary document that you should have for your visa application. Then you now um, go to the embassy and apply. And after that, um, the uh, Avant Healthcare Professional we're going to send you your itinerary, your your hotel bookings, um, your flight uh, itinerary, and everything. And um, and you get prepared. So, so it's fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> tell me that feeling that you had right before you did your NCLEX. Because no, this is the point, guys. This is this is what is holding you between your country and coming to the U.S. Yeah. You're at that point where I need to pass this exam. Yeah, you know, um, once you're going to Philippines, it's all fun. You're happy. You you're in the flight. You're in the plane. You're happy. But once the plane touched down, <laughs> once the plane, the plane touched down, it will dawn on you that no, this is business, you know? Yeah. And um, I came with books, but anxiety couldn't even allow me. <laughs> I, I was on, on the same page for the, for the whole two days I spent before this. I was on the same page. And I couldn't finish a page. The anxiety was so much, you know? Uh, in the morning or throughout that night, I didn't sleep. I woke up very <laughs> early in the morning and um, and I went to the exam center. Um, it's very important that you try to locate your exam center a day before, you know, yes. because they are, they are strict with time. You know, the time is the time. So locate the exam center a day before so that you can actually know where you're going to, you know. And another thing is, um, it depends on where you're going uh, to write your exam. Like we that went to Philippines, me that went to India, um, I have to research about uh, the Indians. Um, they nearly wanted to swindle me off uh, my money, <laughs> but believe you me, I'm from Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already know what that yeah. means. Okay? I'm from Nigeria, you know, <laughs> so you can just do that. <laughs> so, so before 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 they 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 make a move, I'm already ahead of them, you know. Yeah. So what they did is that I entered a taxi or a cab. I don't know what it depends on what you guys call it, but we call it a taxi. And um, for the fact that I didn't know where I was going, where I was going was actually close by. So the taxi charged me a lot of money and they have this meter that reads, you know. So <laughs> when, when the traffic was clearing by this way, instead of following where others were following, he, he was taking his neck right back to, uh, to where there is a, 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 you know, a congestion. And I said, okay, hello, stop me here, all right? I'm gonna pay you uh, what is here and I'm gonna walk across this traffic jam and if we meet i can i will enter and continue <laughs> and he wasn't actually happy about it i said no you can do that this this road is free so why why putting your head where here you know so, so he wasn't happy about it and now did the right thing and i was like it's, it's that simple so you have to be careful because yep. coming to a new country is they believe that you come you came in with a whole lot of money and they want to have their, their own share you know so on the morning of the exam i went there and they were they have to do finger prints i'm telling you that my hands couldn't stay one play when i was my hands were actually <laughs> shake you know like it's okay it's okay <laughs> calm down but i was like i flew 16 hours to come to this place yeah i've tried um or so many agencies and I knew how much I've put in and how much I've lost and I've gotten to this level I said no I'm not gonna come back here the second time yep. you know so after that I I went in for the exam um, I think the first 
I think either the first uh, 10 questions, first 25 questions, they said it's not part of the exam, that they're just using it to test run whatever next ones they want to set. But I, I started the exam as if the exam started from the first one because it prepares you, puts you in the mood, it puts you, gives you the right concentration. Yeah. And I started the exam and um, as it progresses, to me, I don't know what others call it, but to me, there's some questions I call high caliber questions mm -hmm. that once they come out, I know that, yes, I'm, I'm doing good. Right. Those questions are the select all that apply, that is SATA, mm -hmm. the SATA questions, then the question that asks you arrange in order. Right. You know, the question that asks you arrange in order, the SATA questions, and um, what, is, what is it called? Um, what is would it, you do first? Yes, yeah. so the those, question they tell priority questions. Priority, question, priority yes. questions. So these questions I call them high caliber questions. So when these questions are coming out, know that you are you're doing yep. good. And it's better when if they come in successions, that means you got it. And I noticed when I was writing the exam, I will have one, two, three of such questions and after some time, if we go down to just normal, I wanna no, like, I wanna like, I, I, I yeah. like, I think, I think, I, I feel I failed that sort of question. So, but at um, seventy-five, it's tough. Seventy-five. You know, so the, the <laughs> exam is that you can actually pass or fail at seventy-five. Yep. So after seventy-five, and you keep if the question keep coming out. That means that you you they, you have you keep having chances to either prove yourself or fail. Or fail. That's it. Yep. So if the question keep coming after seventy five, that means the computer is, is is computer adaptive. You know, the computer is trying to weigh: oh, is this person good? Is this person good? You know. So um, at seventy five, it stopped. And as it stopped, it was as if my heart stopped with it. With, with my heart stopped with the, with the computer. Yeah. So I went home. I went to the, my hotel room and I was. So did you feel like you passed or like what was your feeling? Let me just tell you the truth. You can never feel like you passed. The only thing that will come to your mind is I failed. Yep. You can never feel that you passed. That is one thing. So it's natural. So when you're feeling that way, don't think it. That, nobody, I've, no, I've never seen anybody that finished end class and said, I yes, passed. I did well. You know, you will keep doubting yourself, yeah. even the questions. Yeah. That is it. You keep doubting yourself, you know. So when I went back to my hotel room and um, uh, I called the Avant uh, like a preceptor and uh, said, I'm done. And she said, okay, um, let me look for your number. I'm going to do this protocol. Uh, they call it PVT. Or, or I think PVT test is like um, uh, a kind of permutation they do to see if you pass before the official result uh, is out. So I now ask her, please don't do it. I want to get home. <laughs> so I want to travel back to my country so that if I fail... <laughs> and I have a heart attack, I will see my people <laughs> to bury me in peace. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, because my people are not, they're not so um, financially buoyant to to transport my cops from from <laughs> India <laughs> back home, you know? So, so you're making sure to get Yeah, home. I said, wait. But she went ahead and did it anyway. You know? <laughs> and sent me an email and um, the way she put it, she said, Chicks, I'm disappointed that I couldn't. I didn't even feel when I said I saw I'm disappointed. disappointed. I dropped my phone and I was like, So, after all this journey, oh god, I cried. Yes, I know I'm a man where I'm from, men don't cry, but I cried, you know. Um, but after some time, I thought, There's no way I failed, I failed. So, I now went to I went back to the email and I saw that what he said, the chicks, I'm disappointed that I will no longer be calling out your name in the <laughs> webinar. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, Gee! that was when I knew that I passed, you know? 
So after, and I came back and after, I think two days or so, they now sent me an official result that I actually passed. And that was, the feeling was out of this world. Unexplainable, guys. Oh God, the feeling was out of this world. Unexplainable. Yeah. If you have ever, your most important goal in life, that's the feeling. When you achieve a goal, like yeah. that's it's it's hard to explain in words how you feel yeah. when you pass the NCLEX. All right, so after we pass the NCLEX, then this is a time where it is now preparation.